following is a short video demonstration for waxing a full contour molar using the Aesthetic Press Aklu Master Crown Forms. We will be using a PTC model for this demonstration. Let's get started. It is important that models be marked to establish guidelines that will allow us to quickly verify accurate measurements. Here we're marking the position of the cusp tips and the buccal and lingual heights of contour. We're showing the crown forms being placed over a dipped wax coping, but the exact same technique would be used if placing the form over a zirconia coping. The proper crown form has been previously chosen for the upper right molar. Simply soften the wax with a hair dryer set on high heat until you see the wax start to look transparent. Be patient and give the wax time to soften completely. Position the wax form over the coping on the model and press it firmly to place. Then close the articulator or press the models firmly together. The anatomy of the crown will not distort. Remove the sprue and secure the pattern to the coping on the buckle. Now remove the die and proceed to seal the pattern to the margin. Hold your waxer approximately 15 degrees to the axial wall of the crown. Place the tip of the waxer in the undercut and simply rotate the die to seal the wax to the margin all the way around. Hold the die vertically so the excess wax will flow into the undercut. If the excess wax fills the undercut, stop and remove the wax, then repeat the sealing procedure. Place the die back on the model and mark on the wax the ideal cusp tip locations and the buccal and lingual heights of contour that match the adjacent teeth. These marks will serve as a stable reference to enable you to make quick, accurate decisions on how much to carve to reduce the wax pattern to the perfect size. First, reduce the buccal and lingual heights of contour. Then measure with a straight edge to get visual confirmation that you have reduced the correct amount. Next, using the buckle heights of contour and the cusp tip marks as a guide, carve the buckle contour. 
do the same for the lingual if necessary. If the marginal ridges are slightly high, follow the existing planes on the pattern and reduce them to the height of the adjacent teeth. Use your PTC carver to refine the dissectional and secondary groups. Apply a small amount of dye lube to loosen and remove any small wax particles. Now measure the buckle cusp height and adjust it if necessary. Blend the carved area on the occlusal. This action gives the cusps a natural rounded appearance. Remove the die and refine the emergence profile of the pattern. Reduce any excess wax at the corners of the crown at this time. Carve a perfect margin by using the A carver end of the PTC WC1 carver. This procedure is shown in detail in the PTC perfect margin carving video. The Occlumaster patterns are available on the PTC website in four different occlusal designs. All the waxing procedures you've seen here are taught in the PTC Anatomical Waxing course in Morgan Hill, California.